Welcome to the world of Pokemon, but with a twist. On our Nuzlocke journey, adventures and friendships await, but so will tragedy and heartbreak. Will our Sinnoh adventure end in triumph or despair? Hello everyone, welcome to my Nuzlocke challenge. Let's go over the rules in case you are not familiar with this type of challenge. First off, if a Pokemon faints, it is to be considered dead. It must be released or permanently boxed and never used again. Second, I can only catch the first encounter in each route. Some sub rules to this. If I come across a forced encounter or a gift Pokemon, I must either choose that Pokemon or a random first encounter. I can't have both. Second, the duplicate cause is on. That way I don't end up with like 50 Geodudes. With that, let's get started on our journey. Yes, I will meet countless Pokemon, and most of them will die. <laughs> Alright, let's leap, leap into the world of Nuzlocke. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. And I am so cute. <laughs> Hey, we know that you have a Switch, but buy our Switch. Ugh, I can't wait till I have the running shoes. Hi, Mom. You want to give me some running shoes? I need to run to my trauma a little bit faster. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Barry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. All right, I think this is Barry's house. Yes, let's go. Oh, of course. Too much of a hurry to pay attention. I'm going to the lake. You should come too. And be quick about it. I mean, I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can. I don't have my running shoes. I'm finding a million dollars. Damn it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Forgot something. I would try to head over to the lake and get a head start, but they won't let us, so might as well go chase after them. Better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, hey. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million. We should have gotten a head start. Should have gotten a head start. I don't have my running shoes. We're gonna be in debt to this berry guy for years. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. You really think you can catch a red Gyarados without any kind of Pokeballs, Barry? Boy, are you crazy. Well, let's get to the lakefront. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. And how do you expect to catch it, Barry? I'd love to know. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to uh, our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Bye. Sorry, folks. What was that about, those two? Huh? Kayla, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? <laughs> Beta. We'll be out of there long enough for- we won't be in there long enough for a Pokemon to come out. <laughs> it's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Professor Layton? Oh, well, no time to talk about it. Let's whip out our Pokemon. that one. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Turtwig for this Nuzlocke. We encountered a wild Starly. Let's go. Good thing it does not know wing attack yet. <laughs> well, lucky us, we did not die in the first battle. That would be embarrassing. Flat, your Turtwig totally rocked. But my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? We'll just steal them. 
They won't know. Oh, you found the briefcase? The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. Uh, what? Did you guys did you guys use these Pokemon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to Professor? This is the Professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? I'm not returning to the church wag, you can't make me. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Kaylee. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. <laughs> if we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Sorry. I just love how it's like, it's my Pokemon now. <laughs> you go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Well, you're falling pretty close behind me, Barry. <laughs> hey, it says people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, yeah, of course, Professor. Wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. Bye. What was all that craziness about? I don't know, Barry. I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Kaylee, we should go home too. Mom, I stole someone's Pokemon. Are those hamburgers? What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely a Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies in Pokemon. I heard he's also quite intimidating. Kaylee, I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. You need to properly explain why he had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know. Kaylee, put these on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. It would have been real nice about five minutes ago, Mom. Alright, let's get out of here. And then, of course, I do not have any Pokeballs, so any encounters I get right now before my Pokeballs, they do not count. <laughs> okay? I don't have a choice. <gasps> Guys, it's the Lord! Alright, we made it to Sandgem Town. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor is waiting for you. Fine. See, this is our Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... FUD. What the? Oh, it's you, Kaylee. That old guy, he's not so scary as so much as he is totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Kaylee. I'm out of here. See you later. Let's bye. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally, you've come. Kaylee, was it? Let's see. Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then. I'll give that Turtwake to you as a gift. See, kids? Steal things from other people and they'll just give it to you in return. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? I am going to go ahead and try to nickname all the Pokemon that we catch, just so we can get a little bit more of a bond towards them. That way, when they die, it breaks our hearts just as much. <laughs> Or more, I mean. Yes, I know, it's very original. Don't judge me. Hmm, okay, are you, are you happy with that nickname? Yeah. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. Am I ever glad you're kind towards Pokemon? Yeah, good thing I'm not Team Rocket. If you aren't well, I don't even want to think about it. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? No. No. 
I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. <laughs> Let me ask you again. I wonder what you- Okay, fine. I guess I stole your Pokemon, so I'll do the Pokedex for you. Good answer. Hooray! That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Kaylee, I ask you to go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I got the same Pokedex as you. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Scared that it was going to die? <laughs> I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. Th okay, okay, Rowan. Okay, that's great. I want my adventure to start now, guys. Please. <laughs> uh, leave me alone. I know what a Pokemon Center is. <laughs> I don't care about the po- ah. Great, we're stuck in tutorial mode, guys. It will be over in just a moment. Okay, finally he's leaving. Jesus. Alright, let's go ahead and stock up, because I want to catch a Pokemon on the way home. And we should also get some... ...stuff. We're gonna go ahead and start with 10, I think. We don't have that much money. Plus we get a Premier Ball, and I'm also gonna go ahead and get some potions. That's gonna be very important. Alright, let's heal up Bonsai, head home, and catch a Pokemon on the way. Alright guys, the moment of truth. Let's see what our first encounter is gonna be. Oh good, we have the Lord on our side! <laughs> Alright, Bonsai, it's gonna be very important that you do not murder him. Okay, I think I should be safe using one more tackle. Do not get a crit. Alright, first throw. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It's more agile and active than it appears. I mean, it's only using 0.1% of its power at all times. Alright, let's give it a nickname. Alright, I don't want to just call it God, because a lot of people call it God. Let's try to name it something else. <laughs> Is this really any better? <laughs> Screw it, we're going with it, Lord Sama. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and heal both of them up before we try to head back. It kind of would have been nice to get a Starly for a little bit of extra type coverage, but I mean, Badoof isn't that terrible either. Because unfortunately, Bonsai is going to be weak to things like bug and fire and crap. Alright, Mom, let's go ahead and get this talk over with so we can go on to our adventure of trauma. Alright, well, we have our first mission. Go ahead and chase after Barry. Ah, uh, what? Okay, thanks, Mom. Can I go now? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's get out of tutorial land as fast as possible. <laughs> oh wait, we're still in tutorial land. Look, you don't need to t teach me how to catch a Pokemon. I already caught the Lord, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever, you're catching a Beta Lord. I don't care, Lucas. Uh... I know how to do it. I got one already. <laughs> how did you get $10,000? Rich ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can I go now? Yeah, thank you for the free balls. Can you leave? <laughs> Alright. Now that he's finally gone, I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving forward and catch the Pokemon on this route. Oh. Never mind, we're gonna go ahead and battle. <laughs> you are no match for my Pokemon. Okay, you might be in match your level 5. I don't know when you win learn a flying type move. I well, if you know it, at least you're not using it. You know, if I get to the championship, I'm really worried about Cynthia. Because I know that apparently she's one of the hardest champions. Alright, defeated him. No sweat. Okay, now let's go ahead and try to catch a Pokemon here. What do we got? Ooh, a Shanks. Not bad, not bad get an electric type right off the bat. Oh no, he keeps staring at me. It's not like I'm gonna catch him. <laughs> Alright, Shinx's data will be added to the Pokedex. 
Excellent. What should we name him? I'm like debating between a shitpost name and an actually good name. And I am going with the shitpost one. <laughs> Emo Simba has been added to the party. Alright, we got the dream team right now. Let's go ahead and just keep beating up children and taking them, taking our lunch money. Alright, Bonsley is at least doing pretty good. I need to get Lord Sama and Emo Simba up to par though. They're still pretty low level. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and skip like a lot of this early stuff because it's basically just me spamming tackle and leafage at anything and everything that moves. Not too much interesting stuff is gonna happen, unless of course someone dies already, but hopefully that's not the case. Alright, at least everyone's starting to climb up the levels. Emo Simba's up to level 4 now, and of course Lord Sama's at level 5, and Banzai's at level 8. Ooh, he's got Thundershock. That's gonna be good. So at least Snarly's are gonna be no problem anymore. Alright, Emo Simba's actually leveling up pretty fast. It just went up to level 4, and now it's level 5. Oh, what? I just escaped from you. How many Pokemon have you caught? Huh? I think you should- I can't! <laughs> Do you not know the Nuzlocke rules? But it's worth it, the more Pokemon- I can't, Lucas. You don't know the rules of a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Gosh. Don't backseat game me, bro. Alright, fine, let's go to the school. Can't wait till all this tutorial stuff's over. <laughs> what brings you here? You got something for me? Yeah, take this. <laughs> you like it a lot? Why do you like a town map a lot? <laughs> Why are you so excited about a town map? I think it's just like anything that's shiny. Ah! Would everyone stop stopping me? I don't want one. Fine. Go ahead and take care of the clowns. Alright, let's go get the Poketch and then leave. I'm leaving Tutorial Land. Okay. I think I'm in the wrong area. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I go to the right. Look, I am slightly dumb, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, we have the battle in here. Okay, I hope he's not too crazy high level because I did not- two of them are not up to par. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's hope it does not know a flying type move. <laughs> Don't get cocked, kid! Kid! I'm like twice your age. Alright, thankfully, did not know any flying type moves. Alright, let's go ahead and switch. Uh, I think I'll have Emo Simba try to take out Chimchar. It's probably gonna be a few levels higher, but I don't want to send out Bonsai because he's probably gonna have a fire type move. Alright, thankfully he's not doing too much damage to me. I'm not doing too much damage to him. <laughs> okay, uh, Lord Sama... Emo Sama needs some help. <laughs> what, you think you can intimidate the Lord? Holy moly! Okay, you can intimidate the Lord. You can intimidate the Lord, great. Uh, Bonsai, you wanna swap in, please? And let's hope he is not using a fire-type move. Okay, Bonsai, I'm really gonna need you to get him out. Okay, thank god he's not using fire-type. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, Bonsai, you're doing great. Emo Simba, Lord Sama, you guys need to get up to par. <laughs> yeah, suck it. I beat you. Into the ground. 
Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. You can't beat me. All my Pokemon will die. The first thing to do is take on the Ouroburg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that, totally. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and heal up. We'll try to catch another Pokemon, and... We need to train everyone. <laughs> Because if we had that hard of a time on the first rival battle, we're in fucking trouble. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have just did Bonsai from the very beginning, but I was really afraid that the Chimchar knew a Fire-type move because I learned a Grass-type move. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what we can get here. Okay, we don't need two of you. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, dupes clone, so I do not have to catch the video if I can go ahead and try it again. <gasps> oh my god. No! No! Either this is gonna be really great, or it's gonna pop out of a Pokeball, and I just lost my encounter for this route. Fuck! Please. 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 Please go in there. Please. <gasps> I got an Abra! I am very sorry if that hurt anyone's ears, but I was really scared there. <laughs> Alright guys, we got an Abra. That is actually an incredible Pokemon. Yeah, let's give it a nickname. Ooh, what are we gonna name you? Bender, you know, like mind bender, spoon bender, bender from Futurama. I don't know. I'm terrible at nicknames, guys. <laughs> but hey, we got an Abra. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, the best way to probably train would probably be going against some of these youngsters. They're not gonna be as powerful as Barry. Yeah, I mean, he has a he has a Bidoof. <laughs> Nowhere near as powerful as our Bidoof. <laughs> I spit at you, Bidoof. Alright, Zubat. Man, I hope we get a Zubat. I would love a Crobat in this game. Like, I don't know why everyone would be hating on Zubat. Honestly, Zubat's fucking amazing. It's cute. It's a bat. I fucking love bats. And plus it goes into Crobat. And Crobat is one of the best Pokemon of all time. Don't even, don't even question me. <laughs> Good job, Emo Simpa. <laughs> All right, we got another youngster on our hands. All these youngsters in my lawn. Cricketot, huh? Would it know any bug type moves at this stage? I'm gonna switch an Emo Simba just in case it knows a bug type move. All right, good move, good move. <laughs> That could have been bad. Emo Simba, you really don't attack for shit, don't you? <laughs> Alright, well, at least Krikaton's not doing any damage to me, so <laughs> at least there's that. Alright, unfortunately, Bonsai was the only one to actually level up from all that. But that's okay, we'll get everyone up to speed here soon enough. I do have to keep in mind that Abra is really great once it evolves, but it's pretty much going to be useless up until that point, because I think it only is going to know teleport, and even then it doesn't have that much attack or defense or anything. I'll also have to be careful once it does evolve because it's a kind of a glass cannon. It's gonna do really great in special attack, but it can't really take many hits. Alright, Starly, come on, Emo Simba. Surely you can take down a bird. <laughs> About taking like 25 million hits. Alright, thankfully he's able to one-shot a bird. <laughs> Badu. You know, I think I'll have Shinx try to take it down. Because I think Shinx is really the only one with a special attack move other than Leafage on Bonsai. And if I touch Badu, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get poison. Oh, great. Come on, you already had sleepless nights after losing his dad. You're going to be a pain in the ass, aren't you? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle it and just end the battle. 
Because at least if I get poisoned at this point, the Buddha won't be alive for much longer. Yep, I'm just perfectly fine. So, from what I remember, I think the first gym is rock, so I definitely want to get Bonsai up so I could take them down. Especially since I think the Kranidos knows a ground type move, so I can't send an Emo Simba against him. Lord Summon's not going to be able to do much at this point, and Bender can't do anything at this point, so I'm pretty much resting everything on Bonsai right now. Unless I get something in a different area right before the gym that might be able to take on a rock type. Man, Bidoof really levels up slow. Because I got it before Emo Simba, but it's like two levels behind Emo Simba. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should probably turn off autosave because Game Freak does not have a very good record of that. <laughs> Alright. Got a cave. Ooh. He gave me some stuff. Thank you. What is that one? Rock Smash. Okay. That actually might be a good move to teach one of my other Pokemon. That way, if Bonsai's in trouble, I have that to fall back on. It's not a super powerful move, but it's something. Okay. So Lord Sama can learn it, and so can Bonsai. I don't think I'm going to teach it to Bonsai, but I am going to teach it to, Lur to Lord Sama. Not the strongest, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Ooh, I hope I get a Zubat in this cave. That would be awesome. I swear, if I get something like a Geodude, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Celebrating in front of the cave? It's like 10 steps long. <laughs> then again, I guess you're five. Alright, a Budu. I know some of these do have poison points, so I actually am gonna go ahead and switch out Bonsai. Swap in an Emo Simba. Because I know Thundershock doesn't really do anything to it, but I don't think it's a good idea to poison anyone at this point. Okay, I think the Thundershock strategy is not gonna work. <laughs> Fine, I'll tackle him. Doesn't even have poison point. I'm just making myself look crazy look crazy at this point. It's probably a different budget I'm thinking of. Ooh, Psyduck. I would keep Emo Simba M, but I don't know what level the Psyduck is at. And I know sometimes it can get pretty deadly early game, so I'm gonna switch in Bonsai. Oh, it's only level five. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, before we leave, let's go ahead and get something in here. You heard me, didn't you? <laughs> uh, I don't like Geodude. <laughs> well, I can let you a good sacrifice if something goes wrong. <laughs> he just punched my turtle. Alright, Lord Summon wants to learn Rollout. Let's go ahead and teach it... Roll out instead of Growl. Growl's pretty much useless. <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Fine. We'll take the Geodude. We don't have a choice. Mm, I was gonna call it Chad, but it's a female. This is the equivalent of Chad for a female, right? We're going with Stacy. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to rub it in that I'm a noob. Yeah, okay, cool. I want to heal up first. <laughs> the kid's probably so confused. He's like, huh, there's someone here, and I just take off running the opposite direction. Well, at least we have four friends and a nuisance on the team, so at least there's something with that. I'm so slow to- thanks. <laughs> thanks. Well, at least I got a Geodude out of the way, so I don't have to worry about catching it in the future. So I can get some cool stuff, hopefully. Ooh, encounter. Too bad I already have one of you. And thank goodness I do. God damn it. Now all of you have 30. Damn it. 
Don't tell me there's nothing but Geo dudes in the mine. I'm gonna be pissed if there is. Don't tell me I could have gotten an awesome zoo mat in the other cave, and then just gotten stuck with a Geo dude here, and now here there's nothing but freaking Geo dudes. I'm gonna be so mad if that's the case. I basically lost out on an encounter game. Thanks for nothing. Good, I can escape this Geo dude monstrosity. <laughs> I'm actually gonna look it up. Is there anything here? Okay, there is thankfully a chance of Zubat here. So, I am gonna keep going until I get an encounter that is not a Geodude. Oh, hi, someone who looks like a cross between Maxi and Silver. <laughs> Alright, now that he's teased us about what we could be having, let's go ahead and try to continue getting a different Pokemon down here, and then we'll go ahead and fight him. Finally! Zubat! Alright, I'm worried that I'm gonna accidentally KO it, so let's just go ahead and catch it. Alright, we got ourselves a Zubat. So now we got five friends and one nuisance. Alright, I'm gonna call her Crossblade, because of Crobat. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of the mines. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get ready for that gym. I think I wanna try to get Bonsai to level 14, because I think that's the level of the Kranidos. I should probably also get try to get Lord Sama up two as a backup. And then of course Stacy is a sacrifice. <laughs> Maybe I should teach Rock Smash to Stacy. That way I got her as a backup too. Good job Stacy, you could smash all the rocks. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and forget the fence girl because that's completely useless. You know, let's get to know our Pokemon a little bit because I actually don't know like a lot of their abilities and stuff. Okay, so Bonsai, of course, Overgrow. Lord Sama, we got Simple. The stat changes the Pokemon receives are doubled. Oh, so that could go either way. <laughs> Emo Simba, of course, is Intimidate. Synchronize, the attacker will receive the same status condition of inflicts a burn, poison, or paralysis to the Pokemon. And then Rockhead protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. That's actually a pretty good ability. And then inner focus. This Pokemon intensely focused, and that protects the Pokemon from flinching. Alright, that's good too. So we actually got some really good abilities on these guys. 